in this video i'm going to tell all the acc students what obu is because we've seen this on the website we've heard people talk about it but most of us don't really know what this is all about so by the end of this video if you find any value give us a like and if this is the first time you've uh, you know come to the channel please click subscribe first things first what is obu think of it as a correlation between india oxford brooks university obu is similar to mumbai or delhi university right and in india we go to these delhi or mumbai universities to study bcom bba bms etc that way in oxford brooks university you can study bsc bachelors of science in applied accounting because this bcom the commerce thing is actually a very indian thing most of the countries abroad have only bachelors of science or bachelors of arts so instead of doing a bcom from mumbai university you will do a bsc in applied accounting from oxford brooks university now what is this useful for is it the right option for you and how do you really go about with it let me start from begin the beginning acc across the world is considered as a powerful enough qualification stand alone without graduation so we have some students who for example come from uae the parents send them to india as soon as their grade 12 is over their children to only study acc no bachelors because in many parts of the world acca is actually like i said enough you don't need your real graduation so now as a body the acca body realized that a lot of students do this how can we support those students so acca went to the oxford brooks university and they had tie up saying that if our students fulfill certain conditions oxford brooks university will give the acca students a bachelor's of science in applied accounting it's as good as getting a bcom from oxford brooks university and you get it along with your acca So when people either want to only study ACC, there's a shortcut to getting this international graduation. Most of us in India obviously will do BCom and we do ACC on top. If you want a double qualification with respect to your degree, a bachelor's degree, where one can be from India, one can be from UK, then this is another reason why a lot of people do. Lastly, if your goal is to go abroad, maybe to study masters and MBA or just for work, I don't know if it will help in every situation. but i know a lot of students of ours have obu on their cv just in case it is more recognized than a mumbai university in some places these are the reasons you do obu right so now what is the actual process of obu so first and foremost uh, when you register for the acc for yourself there is an option which automatically opts you in and you have to click it to opt you out of having the option of of taking up this obu degree later which means if you are opted in it's always better because if you're opted in you can choose to ignore it if you want or you can do it but if you have opted out of obu then even in the future if you decided to do you might not be able to do it so point one is just if you are already a student go on your my acc portal and check have you opted in if not you can still do it otherwise you will be automatically opted in at the time of registration when it comes to the exam conditions right you have to have at least given the fr paper the audit paper and the fm paper which is your fr aa fm the last three papers of skill these three papers are mandatory to give if you want to appear or opt in for the obu so if you have exemptions to all exams before that it's okay however if you are let's say an indian ca or you are an ipcc cleared student where you get audit as an exemption you will have to forfeit these three exemptions if you want to opt for obu this these three papers are mandatory to give lastly when you finish the skill level paper is when you can actually opt in now obu requires you to have a mentor it's mandatory so for example we have mentors at zell uh, who are also internationally recognized it is mandatory to have a mentor and these mentors help you get the degree how do you get the degree you need to submit what they call a research paper right a research paper where it's something to do with a topic in the field of finance and it's a 10000 word copy and you have to work on it and you have to submit it to the obu body either every may or every november there are two openings may and november you have to submit it they have to still pass you so if they pass you only then you get the degree otherwise you have to do this entire thing again so this 10000 word research paper out of 20 topics that the that obu gives you the mentor will help you choose which one help you on that one you will have to create it the mentor can still verify if it's good or not like a mock exam only after the mentor says yes should you submit it and then hopefully obu should pass you it is not necessary that if the mentor says yes obu will pass you 
So this is the entire process, right? You register, you opt in, you you ensure you have your FR, AA, FM paper given. You appear and give this research paper of 10,000 words with a mentor, submitted every May or November. You'll basically have the OBU degree in applied accounting, the bachelors of science in applied accounting from the OBU with you by the end of this period. Ideally, you can do it after ACCA. Some students do it at their professional level. Choice is yours. The fees for this. So you pay the body, the OBU University, around 400 pounds. And to the mentor or to anybody you are actually going to have to take this mentorship for OBU from, you will have to pay anywhere between 40,000 to 50,000 approximately. So the total which you will have to invest in getting this degree is approximately 80-ish thousand, I would say comfortably. But instead of doing a three-year bachelor's, that also going to UK, if you had done this actually by moving out there for three years uh, and earning this degree, I think the expenses would go obviously not of a CR. So getting it at 80,000, that also without actually hampering whether it's your ACCA, whether it's your college, whether it's your work, whatever you're doing and getting an international degree sitting at home in a span of six months, I think it's a steal. I think that if there is any reason that you need to opt for it and even if not. So with that said, guys, my overall suggestion is that if you are open to studying more, you have aspirations to basically enhance your CV, maybe move overseas and get the best opportunity, this might just be the right course for you. And of course, if you've not done your graduation, which there is a handful of small percentage of people who really focus only on their qualification, this is another great way for you guys to earn your graduation.